this video will show you how to create a histogram in Microsoft Excel. So what we want to do is to create a histogram that shows the frequency distribution of the total number of animals on each infected property. And we have that data already here in the total column. This is the number of animals on each infected property. So if we want to draw a histogram, we might start by looking at the descriptive statistics. So to look at this data, at what the minimum and maximum value of the total number of animals on each farm is. So the minimum value is 1 and the maximum value is 9871. So then we'll do some summary statistics of the data in this column. We've got our data tab on the ribbon and we've got our data analysis button because we installed the analysis tool pack. We want descriptive statistics, the input range, we can select the data that we want. So in column B from the heading Shift and down, select all the data in that column. Make sure you tick that labels are in the first row because we have included because we have included the column heading in that V2 cell. We want to create a new worksheet and we're going to call it herd size and we want to calculate the summary statistics. Fantastic, so that's given us our summary statistic. And we knew that the minimum was one and the maximum was 9871. So we can now also look at the median, the mean, the standard deviation the ketosis and the skewness of this data. So now we want to draw our histogram. Now to have a histogram, you need a data set with the value for each individual record, and you need a set of bins, which is how those individual values will be collected so that you can see the frequency in each bin. To create the bins, I'm going to put my first bin here, and that's going to be zero. The next step is going to be 250. I'll show you a neat trick that will let you do that. We'll select this cell where we've put zero, Come here to the Home tab on the ribbon. Come along to the Fill button, Fill Series. We want it to be in columns because I want my numbers to be running down the single column. I want it to go up in steps of 250 and I want to go up to 10,000 because I know that's going to incorporate my minimum and maximum values. Press OK and you can see it's now created this set of bins for us that we can use to create our histogram. So we'll come back here to the Data tab, come along to Data Analysis, and come down here to say histogram. The input range is in our raw data sheet. Now we won't include the title here, we'll just include the actual numbers of the values in each row. Select the first one, shift and down, select them all. The bin range is from here, A22, shift and down, select all of those, and then we'll select it to put it into an output range, and we'll set our output range as D1, and that's it'll fill it from there. And we'll tick that we also would like a chart output. It always will give you a frequency table, but we'd also like a chart. Press OK, and there you go. So this is our frequency table with our bins and the number of farms in each bin. And then here's our histogram showing you graphically what that looks like. We'll enlarge that a bit so we can see what we're looking at. And that's very interesting. So we can see how skewed this distribution is. Now the bins in this histogram are continuous. So there's no true gap in values between these bins. The first bin represents farms with between 0 and 250 animals, and the next one contains 250 to 500 animals. Therefore, we really shouldn't have spaces between the bars on our histogram. So we're going to need to alter that so that the bars butt up against one another. So what we can do is to right click here where the bars are, and come down to Format Data Series. Now this is the formatting of, of how the chart looks. And at the moment, we've got a gap width of 150%. So the gap between each bar is one and a half times the width of each bar. We want no gap. So we'll turn that down and you can see that now that there's no gap between. If you double click on the heading, then you can change the wording there. So this is a histogram of the number of animals on the IP. The bins are the number of animals and the vertical axis is a frequency. So here you are. That's what our histogram looks like for these infected properties.